Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, back again for another NHL 16 Hockey Ultimate Team Pack opening. I'm still sick, if you guys cannot tell, I probably will be coughing in this video, but we got some Mega Packs and Gold Rare Packs to open up for you guys today. An afternoon pack opening for me, 4.30 in the afternoon. We got some cards to pull here, a player of the game, Craig Anderson, Milestone, Phil Kessel, and Jason Pominville. As well as the, the new Team of the Week, which probably is one of the better Team of the Weeks they have come out with so far this week. So, let's go to the packs. we got 28 of them to open, so I probably think we got 14 of each. Either that or 14 uh, of one and maybe like 12 of another. I don't even know how that would equate to it, but we might have 14 of each. Who knows? Alright, let's start with the uh, Gold Rares first, and then we'll do the Mega Packs last. Alright, so 12 items, 12 Rares. <coughs> God damn. Just got back from the doctors as well today, too, and they say that there's absolutely nothing wrong with any, like, part of my body, but, uh, they still say, like, I don't know, it's just one of those coughs that just does not go away. Starting off with a Mark Giordano, not too bad. Uh, do I need the contracts? Not really. I'm still looking pretty good for contracts right about now, so I can sell them, but we'll take Mark Giordano nonetheless. Quick sell all that, and move right along. <coughs> oh my god. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure I had this same, like, illness or sickness when I was in London two or three years ago. When I got sick there, I was sick for, like, the first couple days, but then, um, like, the sick symptoms went away. Like, you know, just, like, the runny nose and stuff like that, but then I was left for, like, a cough for, like, two, like, a week or two. It's just ridiculous, man. My back is starting to hurt because of coughing so much. At least I did not bruise my ribs from coughing so much. That was one really bad cold that I did have. I was coughing so much that I bruised, my, bruised one of my ribs. Like, how freaking insane is that? Alright, so I'm going to hold on to that injury card. And other than that, nothing really too spectacular about this pack that we can hold on to. We could just quick sell everything else. Move right along. Alright. Let's move on to these next gold rare packs. <coughs> Trying to cough away from the mic as best as possible as well. See if we can get at least one special card here. We already did get a 87 pull, which is not too... Terrible, but we'll see if we can get anything else here. Mark Stone, Brooks Orpic. No, we can quick sell them. Alright, so I hope you guys managed to check out all those YouTubers' Hut Under Pressure videos this past couple of days. A really cool little series that EA came up with. Was not fortunate to participate in this month's challenge, but hopefully we'll be able to do next month's challenge. Because it was pretty fun. It looked pretty cool. Hopefully we'll be they'll be able to do some of that stuff in the future. 88 overall, Ryan Johansson. That's pretty cool. 42k for Ryan Joe. I'll definitely hold on to him. Going Pareko and Camilleri. But that's alright. 88 overall, Ryan Johansson. So we get 87 in Giordano and then 88 in Ryan Johansson. Not too bad. Alright, so that'll get us back up to around like 1.6 mil. Not bad. There's a giveaway at the end of this video as well for you guys if you didn't tell, couldn't tell by the title, but there will be. All right, so this pack, nothing too great either with Sammy Vatanen and Cody CC. Radic Faxa did not pull you yet, apparently. Cool. So we'll hold on to you, two Florida Panthers jerseys, and we'll quick sell this. All right. So what's been happening so far? Flyers game was the other night where they lost to the Boston Bruins. Back-to-back -back games in Toronto and Boston where the Flyers have just blown the game in the past, in the last, like, dying minutes of the game. First it was Toronto with, uh, two point, with 7.5 seconds left. Now it was Boston with a minute 54 left. Oh, this team. It's been rumored that Ron Hextall wants to make a trade with some team, so, you know what? Keep losing then, Flyers. You're seven points out of a wild card spot. Keep losing then. All the more merrier to keep losing if Ron Hextall wants to make a trade with this with any team. I don't know what, who he's trading or what he wants to get in, but whatever the case is, just keep losing so Ron can make a trade. Good news is Jordan Wheel finally played. I saw an article as well that it seemed like he was, I think they described him as very reli uh, reliable type of player, which is, that's good. He didn't get much ice time out there, but... You know, I think he got second He got second line power play time because the Flyers did have a lot of power plays in that game against Boston. And, and you know, he was on that power play with, I think, Matt Reed and... 
Scott Lawton, I believe. So they were trying to make something happen on the power play. Could not do it, unfortunately. But you know what? Not too bad. Hopefully he'll be able to get some more playing time. Hopefully Haxtall set Umberg because, you know, there's no reason why RJ Umberg should be playing at all on this entire team. But whatever the case, hopefully he'll be able to get some more starts and some more playing time with the team. Alright, so let's continue to run through these gold rare packs here. I wanted to get recording yesterday, but um, I wanted to start get back back on track with all the series stuff, but I had a headache last night and, you know, the cough didn't really help out anything either, so hopefully going to be able to record some stuff tonight. I have some, like, cough drops and, like, three bottles of water on the ready for when I actually have those cough attacks. Might actually have to do a lot of cutting as well when I do cough or when I don't cough. All right, so nothing really other than Johansson's pull have we gotten anything spectacular so far. So just Johansson and Giordano are our best two pulls. All right, how many gold bear packs we have left? Three more left to go, and then we'll start hitting up the Megas. Hope for one special item, too, if, whether it be a Team of the Week or Milestone card or Player of the Game or something. We'll see what we can get. All right, the uh, St. Louis Blues change team. Uh, Marcia So, Carlson again, time again. All right, we just send that change team and quick sell them for 5K. All right, two gold rare packs left. Let's knock these two out. All right, come on. All-Star game, I think, is at the end of this week as well. So that'd be cool. Hey, Patrick Hornquist again. <laughs> I pulled two team. I pulled two team of the week cards this week, and both of them have been the team of the week. Patrick Hornquist. So that's the second time that I've pulled him this week, which is interesting. So there we go. There's our team of the week pull. I have won the gold rare packs nonetheless too. So that's gonna be some good luck for us. All right. So our last gold rare pack here. So we pulled two 87s and an 88, which is not too shabby. And our last pack here, nothing really too great. Victor Rask, I have him on my fantasy team. That's why I want to give to you guys as well. I need to do a fantasy update. I think after this week, once this week is done, so once Sunday comes around, or whenever I think this week is over, I think this is like a, actually a next, like a shortened week because of uh, the Christmas holiday and stuff like that. So well, not the Christmas holiday because of the, uh, there were a couple breaks. I think it was because of the... Was it because of New Year's break? I don't know. There was a break in there for some odd reason. And this week, what I think was a double week in fantasy. But I'll give you guys a, uh, an, a fantasy update after this week's matchup is over. Because uh, depending on how this week turns out, I could actually be in first place in our league if everything goes well. If not, if not in first tied for first place in our league. So I'm still doing pretty good. My very first fantasy hockey pool that I have done this year and I'm sitting at a 11 and 4 record which is actually is pretty pretty impressive if you ask me for somebody who's never done fantasy at all in any sport and then the first year they're doing it has a pretty good record beginner's luck if I guess you could say all right so first two packs not really anything too fantastic out of these mega packs uh, let's see just grabbing up the change teams Alexi Marchenko and another change team to Tampa Bay. All right, so we'll stock up on those change teams, quick sell these guys, and we'll move right along. All right, so how many mega packs left? Oh, we still got a ton of these. Still got a ton of them left. It's going to be a longer pack opening than usual as well. Just shooting the shit with you guys as well. All right, uh, anything else? Let's see. Uh, Tootin, Grubauer, no. Have all these guys. Uh, anything else that I need here? Consumables. I'll just take that and quick sell all these here. I'm gonna see if I can multitask as well. Gonna quick sell these and try to text my mother at the same time. Let's see how good we can do this at multitasking. Can text my mother while I let the pack animation go. All right, sent that text in. All right, uh, nothing else really too fantastic in this pack either. So the Mega Pack's kind of being let down so far. The Gold Rares have been where it's been at. Uh, a lot of consumables, though. Good consumables in this pack, nonetheless. Quick sell them for 8.2K. All right, let's go on to the next Mega Pack. Come on, give me a good little pull here. We're not mind one of those milestone pulls. 
Been getting a lot of good Movember upgrades for the past like couple special cards that have been coming out as well. So looking pretty good for that. Hold on to Mike Condon as well. I have his uh, his Hockey Fights Cancer card, which actually got an upgrade because of that uh, new gold packs, but the the gold cards and the uh, this Hockey Fight Cancer one is actually not too bad. It's like I think it's like 85 overall or something like that. It's got some decent stats. It's better than my Movember Nilstar, nonetheless, but. Made some upgrades to my team, too. I gotta show you guys my online team, and then I really gotta start bringing some live online games to the channel, because that's something that I really wanted to do this year, and I'm probably gonna stick to it, that I really wanna bring just live gameplay to you guys as well, just show you some Div 1 stuff, but ever since I upgraded my team, I've been playing very, very well. I made some changes to some players. I got rid of some Movembers, added in a you know, a couple better Movembers, I added in a couple Legends here and there as well. And uh, the team is actually playing very, very well. I've won back-to-back -back Div 1 titles because of them. Pulling another Patrick Sharp, why not? It's our usual Patrick Sharp pull. Let me, hold on, uh, is somebody right? Yeah, availability, 163. It's, it's pretty ridiculous how often people pull Patrick Sharp's in packs. Alright, so he's the only person that we're going to hold there. But yeah, the team's playing well. I really like the upgrades that I made. I really like the way the team has been playing. So, Let's see if we can continue to play pretty well. All right. So we've gotten nothing since that team of the week pull, and I think that trend is going to continue along here as we're still looking for something good here from these packs. Uh, back to back, change team Tampa Bay's. Hold on to them. And sell that for 9.4k. A lot of big quick sell on that pack. But you know what? I'll be happy. I'm I'm happy nonetheless. We got a high overall, two pretty good base card pulls, and a team of the week, which I'm fairly happy with. Alright, anybody else here that we still need? Nope. Have all those gold players as well. Eric Fair, Robin Laner, Jerome McGinla, and we just take that plus five all on the goaltender. Quick sell everything else. 8.2. All right, three mega packs left. The last three mega packs to go here. I'll actually be able to get above 1.7k on the uh, once I sell everything. All right, uh, there, I think there's another team of the week in the back there. I wasn't sure who it was. I'm pretty sure it might have been Hornquist again. I swear to God, if it's Hornquist again. <laughs> oh man. So many other good Team of the Weeks to pull, but I've pulled three Team of the Week Patrick Hornquists to win this video alone. Ay ay ay. Frickin' Penguins, man. Alright, so we'll quick sell that for 9.8. So, two Team of the Week pulls, and it's been the same card. 387s, 188, two Team of the Weeks, it's been the same card pulled in both of those packs. Alright, uh, ooh, it didn't have a Solomaki yet. So we'll hold on to him. Anything else good here in the bag? Change to Montreal. Hold on to that. And that's about it. All right. So we'll move on to our last mega pack here, which has been a very decent pack opening with two team of the week pulls and an 88 and 87. All right. Last mega pack here. Come on. Let's end it off with a bang. Milestone Castle. That'd be nice. Or a team of the week. A really high end team of the week. Uh, doesn't look like it. Don't think so. I don't think there was anything hiding in the back unless uh, this game was to surprise me with something hiding in the back, though. No, it's just a display. All right, so still nonetheless, two Team of the Week, Patrick Hornquists, uh, Ryan Johansson, and Mark Giordano. Pretty good little haul. So let me show you guys what I'm going to be giving away to you today. Got two Team of the Weeks to give away, and they are going to be my man. 90 overall Team of the Week, Claude Giroux, and a 88 overall Team of the Week. Evgeny Kuznetsov so pretty good offensive stats on these guys gotta love G with his 95 hands so um, yeah we'll definitely be giving that, that away I think for the next pack opening as well I might give away my milestone Pavel Datsu because I'm considering not giving away the tapes I actually might use it on my team but we'll see what happens but today we're gonna give away Claude and Evgeny Kuznetsov so what we're gonna do today is uh, Philadelphia Flyers logos on Claude Giroux and Washington Capitals away jerseys on Evgeny Kuznetsov. So Flyers logos on Claude, uh, Capitals away jerseys on Kuznetsov. So you guys can go send both of those things in. They'll be up for max price three days. I'll pick a winner probably within two days or so. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to 
get one of those cards. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, two Team Louis polls, Ryan Johansson, Mark Giordano. Not bad little haul there for this week's pack opening. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys next time.